Hi, I'm Yusuf. It is the third example of surface area. Uh, we must machine this set in one operation because uh, uh, in otherwise we should uh, use positioning but as you know uh, positioning uh, this uh, positioning of this uh, kind of parts isn't very good so you should uh, use a simultaneous 5x machine to machine it so we will use uh, bill mill multi axis and variable contour because uh, there are always a negative angle in uh, when uh, when you use one tool axis okay surface area specify drive geometry and I choose this choose and I get an error I th we think that these two uh, neighbor surfaces uh, have the same U and V lines but they aren't let's look at this you can see that they aren't in the same um, U and V lines so we must create uh, a surface that contains all the machining surfaces uh, and use this to create tool pads okay we go to modeling and sphere we choose a middle point first we look how it will create and ok we make transparent and we should uh, divide it to two well, we should trim it ok new plane ok and we will use it for projection specify drive geometry helical scallop dot point five dot point five and dot point five tolerances and first we check the tool pads okay I will tell you the deti details later but for now uh, we will use normal to drive normal to drive and generate the tool pads are created uh, are st uh, start from a uh, lower but we don't want it we will change it from cut direction and choose this arrow ok and generate
creation of toolpaths will last long because uh, it creates five axis simultaneous toolpaths and makes a projection show so uh, the time is so normal. Let's look at the toolpaths. It starts up and always change the axis according to the sphere surface. So it cuts uh, every place. If you don't want these gaps you should decrease the scalopate. You can do dot zero five. It is all for surface area. Uh, the best uh, for surface area is projection, I think. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have questions, please ask me on comments.